Um, I apologize. For some reason, my webcam disconnected from my computer. And I don't know how that happened because nothing moved. So that's something that's in divine order. But I, um, as I was saying, the gentleman or the, the person stopped um, and just put his hands on his hips and just stared at me and my children. It made me feel very uncomfortable. But you know, I kept it moving. I kept on doing what I had to do. And I just kind of gave him a look like that. And his wife um, had to tell him to come over to her and move from where he was. So after that experience, I was, I was angry and I was hurt. And I knew all along that I had never been a fan of that um, pretend corporate ITAL, you know? It's not possible to be ITAL if you are a company as big as Whole Foods. But I feel like that's what we're being sold today, is a lot of co corporate ITAL. If you are going to eat fresh foods or live foods or raw foods, you have to have these very expensive machines and you have to buy these very expensive superfoods and you have to live this very expensive type of lifestyle in this very expensive place. I feel like that's what's being pushed by the Whole Foods and the Trader Joe's um, of the world. And I'm sure there are other stores like that that exist, but those stores alone, that vein, it's a corporate vibration. When um, eating live foods, eating whole foods, eating foods in their natural state um, has always been and continues to be an African reality. You know, this comes from my culture. This comes from African culture and from Native American culture and from the majority peoples of the earth. This is how we have always eaten. So it's not anything new. I know it um, got a popular resurgence in the 60s with the hippies, but even they were um, respectful enough to pay homage to its origins. And then they didn't try to pretend that it had anything to do with being wealthy. Because those who are, who have what is considered to be wealth in this particular um, system, in this particular area of the world, or, or within the Western society, let us say, are not people who can, who can be associated with ITAL. So to say or to have this version of living life naturally, and the Rastafari word for that is ITAL, to have this pretend version is disgusting to me. And I knew that that was the case, but it wasn't until that day at Whole Foods that I had to completely acknowledge and embrace the fact that that wasn't what I wanted to do, that wasn't where I wanted to be, and those weren't the type of people that I wanted to purchase my food around. My food, that which gives me my vitality, that which I'm going to put into my system, I definitely didn't want my food coming from those people. And a large part, I think, of why we are attracted to places like that is the, the glamour of it. But we, we have to remember the origins of that word glamour. Glamour is a spell that you cast over something so that its realness cannot be seen. It's usually a spell that you cast over something that's unattractive to make it attractive. So when you talk about glamour, that's what you're talking about, is a, a spell, a, a um, make-believe look to something. So I think we're drawn into those places by the glamour of them. They're always very flashy. They always have these events going on to lure you in. And then once you get there, your Whole Foods experience is made very convenient. You know, your vegetables and fruits are already chopped up for you. And you don't have to pick through a bin all the time to find the nicest, ripest one. Sometimes they're already prepackaged. And if you want to have that picking through the bin experience, you can have that too, but not fully. Not to the point where you're going to be, you know, discard putting the dead ones to the side like you would in a more real, live, market type experience. So I think the convenience and the glamour of it is what draws us in and keeps us coming back for more. And but but the point that I wanted to say in the second part of this video is that there is no such thing as corporate ITAL. To be eating ITAL, to be having ITAL liberty or an ITAL way of life. And when I say that, I'm using the term ITAL as opposed to vegetarian or vegan or raw foods or living foods or even fresh foods because ITAL has that African vibration 
that majority people vibration, that First Nations vibration that I want to bring to my life. I tell it's not only in the way I eat. I tell it's in the way I wear my hair. It's in the clothing that I wear. It's in how I um, deal with my fellow planet sharers, the other people who are walking this journey of life with me, and the other living beings that are walking this journey of life with me. The way that I deal with them is also ITAL. So it's not just a way of eating. It is a way of being. It is a way of living. Never could any corporation be doing that. Never could anyone who is making billions of dollars and not using them to effect actual positive life-altering change within this wicked system that we live in. Never could anyone who is doing that be living ITAL. So what are we doing there? What are we trying to gain there? Are we moving through this and living this as a fad? Or is this an actual way of life for us? So in giving you the option and in showing you the ways and methods that one can utilize, you know, the local farmer's market and the different foods that are available there. What I'm hoping to do is to pull those of us who don't want to be participating in it out of that pretend corporate ITAL mindset and pull us back into a natural liberty, a natural way of living that comes straight from Earth Mother O'Neillay because that is where we're going to get our nutrients, you know? Everything reacts to the vibrations around it. So if you're um, getting your food in a place where the vibrations are racist or the vibrations are negative, how can the food then be healthy? How can the food then be good for you? How can it then be nourishing to you and your spirit? Because your body is an outgrowth of your spirit. So how is the spirit of the food, if it's been um, inundated with racism going to be nourishing to your spirit. There's no way that it can be. So I wanted to put the second part on the video, no corporate ITAL. There is no such thing as corporate ITAL. When we participate within this system of corporations and corporate living, we are participating in destruction. And we have to be realistic about that. I'm giving you the story of how I came to be more realistic about that. And I'm hoping that it will help you to be more realistic about that. Support your local farmer's market. That's real ITAL. Support your local farmers. That's even more ITAL. Grow your own food. That is the true ITAL. The true, natural, normal, life-giving, spiritual, loving, blissful way of being. Grow your own food and eat what is already growing near you because our mother O'Neillay has food all around us. We just have to be able to recognize it. So hope that this was helpful and this is my second video like I said of the day. This is the second half of the second video and I have um, two more that I actually wanted to do. One that was requ requested a while ago and I didn't get to it and one that was requ requested a little more recently. I apologize for my stumbling over the words. So I hope that this was helpful. Peace and blessings. If you're in the Atlanta area, DeKalb County Farmer's Market is the farmer's market that I um, went to today. But we also have several local farmer's markets. I would suggest doing an internet search, no matter where you are, and find out where the local farmer's markets are in your area, so especially those that are supporting local farmers. Find out what foods grow naturally in your area and grow some of them. Even if you have a porch space, even if you have a balcony space, you have enough space to grow pound upon pounds of food. Because life, no, don't do that, is omni-abundant. So once you plant a seed, you will be amazed at the pounds of food that grow from just that tiny little thing. It's just like you. you. You were that tiny little drop just in your mother and in your father, and you have grown this whole entire person with this whole entire life from that. So participate in the omni-abundance in life. And as much as you can, don't participate in the destruction of life. All right. Peace and love. I hope that this was as good, I hope this was good for you guys and not just me rambling. Okay.